If you're looking for a small car, and a lot of people are, the easy maneuverability, nimble handling, and above all the economy that a small car offers, then look to Colt. It's a lot of little dodge, and we'll show you why. You get choice. An inexpensive coupe with a base price of $2,984. A more luxurious custom coupe. A sedan with four doors, almost unheard of in the small car world. A station wagon also with four doors. A distinctive two-door hardtop. And a GT hardtop. Six models all together, or seven if you count the little custom coupe red and white special package. And no matter which you choose, inside, outside, under the hood, anywhere you look, more value than you'd ever think you'd find in a small car. It's nicely finished, smooth, sleek, with good flowing lines, the way any well-designed car should look. There is a subtle difference in looks when you compare it to Datsun. And there's a difference in trunks, too. You'll find that Datsun's trunk is smaller than Colt's. Decide for yourself which interior you like better. Colt at the top, Datsun below. Everything you see on Datsun and Colt is standard equipment. For Colt, that includes the convenience of an adjustable steering column, not available at all for the Datsun. Usable space is very important back here. Four feet, two inches of hip room in the Colt. Plenty for two adults. One of the main reasons for buying a small car is good mileage, right? Well, here are the EPA figures specifically for the Colt Mileage Maker Coupe with its 1600cc engine and four-speed transmission. And for Datsun B210 with four-speed. As you see, Colt gives better mileage. Colt also has the advantage of having a larger gas tank than Datsun. You've seen more value, more features in the Colt. And it costs less. Datsun's B210 costs $275 more than this comparably equipped Colt. Here's Chevrolet's Vega and its slightly smaller cousin, the Chevette. When you compare Vega and Chevette with Colt, you'll find they're not as complete. Don't offer the features that make Colt such a pleasure to drive. Like the convenience of a spring-loaded seatback release. Not on Chevette or Vega. Standard swing-out quarter windows. They cost extra in Chevette and Vega. Standard adjustable steering column. Nope. Standard individually reclining front bucket seats. Nope. Tinted glass all around. Standard on coal. Cost 48 bucks extra for Chevette or Vega. Standard electrically heated rear window defroster. 71 bucks extra for Chevette or Vega. Standard wood tone instrument panel. Not available on Chevette, and Vega offers it in the GT package only. Standard handy trip odometer. Nope, not for the Chevys. Standard cigarette lighter. Extra cost for Chevette. Standard white sidewall tires. Radio ply for all our models except the MM Coupe. Cost from $38 to $187.50 extra. And a standard locking fuel filler door. Can't get one for Chevette or Vega. Power front disc brakes cost $58 extra. They're standard on Colt. Colt's a complete car with one of the most impressive lists of standard features in the business. Now you might think Colt would cost more. It doesn't. In fact, a Colt coupe costs about $500 less than a comparably equipped Chevette about $590 less than a comparably equipped Vega. 
and Colt's more economical to operate, quite a bit more. EPA figures show you that. These are the figures for the Colt 1600cc engine and 4-speed. And you can use leaded or unleaded fuel, so the savings may be even more significant than the package comparison indicates. Incidentally, Vega offers only one engine, just the 140 cubic inch 4, no options. Chevette gives you a choice of two, but there are three different Colt engines available, depending on the model you choose. And all operate on leaded or unleaded gasoline, which is more than Colt's competitors can say. We'll talk more about the unique silent shaft models in a minute. Now look at Ford's Pinto. In our opinion, the Pinto looked a lot better with the grill it used to have, and suffers by comparison particularly with the crisp Colt front end, so definitely a part of the car's good overall look. Sure, styling's a personal matter, but the amount of space is something you can measure. While two people can be comfortable in a Pinto's front seats, it's a squeeze for two grown-ups to sit back there in a Pinto. There's only a little more than three feet to shoehorn your hips into. The amazing thing about the way they design Colt is, you have over four feet of hip room to sit comfortably in. Pinto's trunk is skimpy too. Colt is very big on premium features, things that Pinto doesn't have. The locking fuel filler door. The adjustable steering column. Individually reclining front buckets. The trip odometer. A wood-grained instrument panel, available only on Pinto's deluxe wagon. And some standard cold features cost extra on Pinto, like the rear window defroster. Pinto charges $49 for tinted glass. Pinto's power front disc brakes cost $57 extra. $37 to $173 extra for white sidewall tires. A cigarette lighter comes only with a $158 optional decor package. Now when you start adding up all these extra costs, you find that a Colt Coupe cost $514 less than a comparably equipped Pinto. Prices may vary from dealer to dealer, but that gives you an idea of Colt's value value that goes up when you consider economy. Colt's EPA mileage figures show how Colt gets better mileage than Pinto, and it doesn't require unleaded fuel. No competitor offers anything like Colt's two exclusive silent shaft engines. Two counterbalancing shafts rotate in opposite directions to neutralize vibration. The engine runs smoothly, quietly. Here's proof. Put a vase of water on the Colt silent shaft engine. One on the Pinto engine. One on the Chevette. And one on the Datsun. Now look at them together. There's no question which gets the rose for being the smoothest running. When a car offers the right size and the right shape, a wide choice of models, a wide choice of engines with outstanding economy, plus service as near as your Dodge dealer, and more standard features and equipment than you can get anywhere else, at a price lower than other cars in its class. Maybe that's the car to be thinking about. Think about Dodge Colt for 1977. It's a lot of little Dodge.